am usually a very productive person. But recently, I've been finding myself half finishing tasks and projects. It makes me feel really overwhelmed. But what I'm looking for in my life and in content at the moment, in like consuming content, is like therapeutic... What's the word I'm looking for? Like satisfying. I'm looking for satisfying content. And for me, being productive is one of the most satisfying feelings and watching productive content is again, it just fills my soul. Can you hear that? If you know, you know. The soundtrack of my life. Anyway, today I had a game plan of like making content and doing all this stuff. And I was like, you know what? I need to have some self discipline and finish off these we're gonna make an ultimate list now some of these things to you guys will be like dumb and maybe not important i just want to get everything off my brain and unload it onto this list i'm a pen and paper person so i have finalized my list and this is what we are going to achieve in this vlog number one make cushions i've been trying to work out what kind of cushions i want in our podcast room here and i haven't found ones that really stand out to me so i want to go to a fabric store buy fabric and make my own cushions for the podcast room number two is I want to kickstart my podcast again for this year whether that's the health code or a Sarah's day podcast I don't totally know yet but I'm just doing a little rebrand so I just need to make sure I do that so I can start actioning this podcast next up I need to finalize the fitness club campaign pitch which is my new active wear on Friday I have a meeting where I pitch the idea of like what I want the video to look like what I want the photos to look like so I'm going to sit down and get a really well-rounded idea of what I want that campaign to look like next up which you guys are going to love I love watching people organize and like clean out things so this will be the most therapeutic thing to watch it is cleaning out slash organizing my tea and appliance cupboard it's this cupboard here we use it so often and I'm just pretty careless with it so I just really have that desire to make it really clean really organized and like beautiful next up I need to make a lamp decision you know that stupid lamp if you know you know I either need to go and buy a new attachment for this lamp or I need to get rid of it and donate it so I just need to make a decision on that like that is it and finally on my list finalize our upstairs bathroom we have lived in this house for three years and there's just certain parts of the house that I've just fully neglected and one of those places is our upstairs bathroom there's nothing decorative in there I want to like have a tray anyway I want to finalize that and make it chef's kiss that is my list but before we do any of this let's get ready for the day and actually do my skincare routine because I have sweat dried to my face <laughs> appliance cupboard she's definitely seen better days we use her a lot she's well loved but she's looking a little rough so step one is the blank canvas practice essentially it's getting everything off the shelf and giving it a good clean scrub scrub now let's organize this into three piles keep give away and throw away aka expired why the heck do I have so many tea strainers? Like this is just dumb. Let's just keep a few, call it a day. Oh, the fact that that fits perfectly is just so satisfying to me. So this is obviously the tea shelf. I love a good herbal tea at night. And then above that is the protein powders and smoothie add-ons and just things I reach for for my morning smoothie and some straws. Da, da, da. Now to tackle the real beast. But you want to know the worst part about this? I honestly do this process at least once a month. Now just give me a few weeks and I'll be right back here reorganizing it. I use it a lot. It just gets messy. I'm passionate when I cook. And anyway, stay tuned. I'll do this again in two weeks. Why did you put a bullet in his in his mouth? Okay, don't put it back in. ASMR of your dreams. Oh, is this gonna fit? Yes. Yep, I'm professional at this point. Malachi was obviously my cameraman today and did a great job of ensuring everything was in focus. Melly. <laughs> stunning, stunning. This is our final product and I can say it feels so good. <laughs> brother bye to your dad they're going for a yeah the boys play date and we're gonna have a styling date lucky you Ooh, yeah. 
Bye guys. See ya. This is already great. Committing to this video has made me check off at least one thing. And just opening that appliance cupboard, Kurt just came home. He even said like, he even said like, it's just so, so much more enjoyable making your tea. Check that off. Next is finishing off the upstairs bathroom. So this is the upstairs bathroom where if people come over, this is where they shower. Look how huge this piece lily is. I love it, but it lives in the Pilates room. I just water it in here. Anyway, the part that I want to design is this section here. Like it's just dead. I feel like it needs like a tray situation. So let's just do that quickly. And then we can take it off. Look at that. But like, what would I put in that? Is this ugly? I know, I know. I want it to be when you walk in there, it's like a resort vibe. One thing that screams hotel is rolled up towels. Yes, yes, yes. What do you think about this one? Good? Do you think that's good? Me too. Okay, I'm gonna give this one a tick for now. Comment below, what could I put in here? Cause I like it there. I think it like balances it well. I'm liking this. So yeah, about this section um, in classic Sarah style, I decided I hated it. I completely changed it and now I'm back to square one. So yeah, there's that. On to the next task. Let's make decisions. Okay, I bought this stupid lamp. It was $800, okay? If you are unfamiliar with this lamp, consider yourself lucky. So basically, this is what the lamp is supposed to look like, and this is how it came. I can't even go into how I'm right, and it is faulty. I haven't done this incorrectly. They've sent me the wrong skeleton of this lampshade. Anyway, it's just annoying me, it's frustrating, and honestly, I'm over it now. I just have bad vibes about this lamp. As we can see, Fox has tried to fix it for me with his amazing building skills. And I've just been procrastinating and sitting on this stupid lamp and I just don't want to deal with it We're gonna take her right now and donate her say bye-bye to the lamp. Hopefully. No, not hopefully It's happening. You will not see her in another vlog or a reel or, or a story. It's a no from us <laughs> Honestly, I don't even need glasses. They just make me focus. <laughs> podcast branding. If you don't know, Kurt and I used to have a podcast. We still do have a podcast together. It was called The Health Code. It is, present tense. It is called The Health Code. We used to do long form episodes. It was all about like health, fitness, wellness, business, everything. And they were like one hour episodes. And then we had a deal, like a contract with Spotify where we uploaded daily episodes. We're not doing that anymore because it was just way too hard on me, mostly with like the kids and breastfeeding and like, I I want to keep the podcast going and I want to keep podcasting and just like make it more of a Sarah's Day podcast. So I can't decide. It doesn't really matter. But like, do I keep it as the health code like by Sarah's Day or do I just like start a fresh podcast like the Sarah's Day podcast? I don't know. Comment below. Just because I'm such a visual creative person, I have to have like a well-rounded idea of what I want this podcast to look like. This is kind of one concept. Then like, this is another concept. Even my nails. Concept two, concept one. So it's like, they're both very me and like I can always change but like how do I want to launch this new podcast Pinterest board a mixture of different vibes going on here bold and bright colors yeah do I go with like this these bold kind of ones or are we going like aesthetic Italian summer filmic if this makes sense to you you're probably like a creative minded person like me and like you really care about this if it doesn't you'll be like why does this matter like what the heck shut up <laughs> Yes, this is feeling right. I'm kicking myself right now. I thought tomorrow was my meeting with White Fox where I get to like pitch my idea for the activewear campaign. So today I was gonna sit down and finalize that off my list. I got a message from White Fox this morning being like, hey girl, just confirming our meeting for 12 o'clock today. I was like, <laughs> Yes, yes, totally fine. My week has been flipped, so I'm going to White Fox in like, yeah, 10 minutes. But I have this idea, and I don't know if White Fox are gonna see my vision. Kurt's busy getting beautiful. Are you serious? This is me instead of ironing my t-shirt. It does wonders. Life hack. 
This is not a hack. That is slower than ironing it or steaming. Nah, that's quick. quick. That is so, yeah, you're so quick. lazy. Stop. Literally all morning, Kurt and I have been like developing this mood board and creating this concept. You didn't say the idea, did you? No, no, no. Don't, don't give it away, because if they say no, I'm going to use it on something else. Well, that's what I mean. If they, if they <laughs> say no to this idea, someone's going to steal it. Someone, yeah, someone's going to get it. We always match. I always wear black. I never wear black. Yeah, so you're actually copying me. I got dressed first. Can we just refer to me as creative mastermind from now on? That was your idea. That one was my idea. What one was the game? Idea? The game was my idea. No, that was my idea no, as well. No, the game was my idea. This no, one was the other one was my idea as well. Anyway, the vibe of this is my idea. The photo shoot's my idea. The game's your idea. Do you know what? We're Rick, married, Rick. so Jesus what's says yours? we're one flesh. We're what's one yours flesh. is mine and mine is yours. What's my idea is your idea. What's your idea? You're one idea. brain. <laughs> I'm gonna feed this baby. Then we're gonna go to White Fox and pitch our idea that they may not be on board with. White Fox, if you say no to this, just wait. We're someone gonna else is it. gonna, someone else Sunny's is gonna, gonna get it, it, and they're gonna have a great time with it. Exactly. exactly. <laughs> Blackmail. I like it. That's it. <laughs> Good plan. I don't know how to portray my excitement without like gritting my teeth together and growling, but I'm so excited about this collection. We just had a meeting with White Fox. We planned the campaign. We have the photo shoot location. We know what we're doing, but just the collection itself, like the pieces, I'm so excited to show you and for you to wear them. It's launching in March, which is only like a few weeks away. So just stay tuned, keep your eyes peeled because this collection is so beautiful. I just, I'm gonna stop because I keep gritting my teeth. I'm so excited. Does anyone else do this? Mission, make podcast room aesthetic with DIY cushions. <laughs> I can't even say that with a straight face. I feel like aesthetic and DIY cushions don't really belong in the same sentence. But anyway, let's make the best of it. We're here now. This lemon fabric is giving me, I just went on a Yeah The Girls trip to Europe vibes and that's fun. Mm, this stripe could be ugly, but we'll just see. But maybe this light blue stripe will balance it all out. Mumu wasn't totally into our fabric adventure. He was a little under the weather, so I made it quick and got it done. What the heck though? Here's me thinking I'd be a money savvy queen and the total was over $100. No, thank you. I, I want both of your opinions. This is for the podcast room. Like so like one cushion, <laughs> one cushion, one cushion. <laughs> it's a me, a nonna says he. <laughs> Two. I think it's cute. No. no. No, 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 it's so, like, it's so cool. You're like, this is basically the Greek flag, first of all. <laughs> like, that's cool. No, is Can we that put color? it on that color and yeah, see what it looks it. like? Just not going to look classy at all. Remember, you've got a black table. Black table. Nah. Come on, Nonna says. <laughs> This got to go. This, yeah, she no, got to go. Yeah, nice. this is why I never get anything done because there's so many cooks in the kitchen. Who invited us to have opinions? I was second guessing it. I brought it home and I was kind of confident. I sent it to my sister and my mum and they said, cute. They didn't say anything else, which is a red flag. And then Kurt came home and just started laughing at me. And I then, grilled you. And then I'm when, sorry. I, I was going for Emily in Paris. It's definitely when they not go Emily in Paris. I hold it up. I can see like a cute little outfit. I know. <laughs> I'm going to make my mum make me like a collared shirt. Like, there you go. No waste. No waste, but a waste of my freaking time. <laughs> Before I ask this question, let me just establish that this is a safe space, okay? What's said in this video stays in this video. Now, let's be honest with each other. How often are we cleaning our makeup brushes? Because I can definitely tell you, I am not cleaning mine often enough. Like, I never do this and it's gross. And I was getting pimples the other day. This is the only reason I'm cleaning my brushes because I got a breakout and I was like, I don't really get breakouts anymore. So maybe it's my rank brushes. Anyway, this is how I clean mine. I, I'm not a makeup artist. I don't know if this is right. I think I watched this on like a YouTube video 10 years ago. I'm just using a baby shampoo, which I don't use on my children. I just use this one on my makeup brushes and I just use my hand. I swirl it around, squish it out. You know, there's probably a better method, but this is just your encouragement to maybe clean your own brushes because mine were filthy. Our outfit colors are very fitting for this scene. Black and somber. Yeah. We're mourning the purpose of this vlog. Do you even know the purpose of this vlog? No idea. So I wanted to just wrap up this vlog with a little life update, which is pretty life altering. And it's the fact that Kurt broke his back, literally. Do you want me to tell the story or are you all mm. good on that front? I feel like you're not a great storyteller. Um, what? 
Oh, no, George, really. edit it good. Okay, long story short, I was at jujitsu. I went in to tackle a guy. I fell at a 90 degree angle, sitting on the floor with all his body weight down on top of me. I, I got a compression <laughs> fracture. <in it. laughs> We don't like her anyway, stop her. <laughs> I got a compression fracture in my spine in two vertebrae. I started filming this vlog like two weeks ago and then Kurt broke his back. Basically, I was driving to hospital freaking out. When you get a call saying your husband has a back injury, you obviously go to worst case scenario. And I didn't want to ask like, can you feel your feet? Like, can you move your legs? I was just trying to be a positive vibe. I was so, literally thinking when it happened to me, like how am I going to get a wheelchair up our stairs at home? Yeah, yeah. It's uh, like, it's legit what yeah. I was thinking. While it's unfortunate and it's not ideal to have a broken back, we feel mm. Super grateful that it's just broken vertebrae and not like, you know, nerve damage and all that stuff. But it has thrown a spanner in our life, obviously, because Kurt isn't allowed to lift anything for six weeks and it's like this big recovery period. It's just put this extra load on me because I can't like tag team as much with Kurt. So I just like stopped vlogging. I stopped filming content and I was just in full carer mode of like caring for Kurt, caring for the boys. So I'm just returning now to say, sorry, I wasn't productive at the end. I was productive productive in keeping people alive, <laughs> but maybe just not taking things off my list. Mm, that's well, it. That's it. That's it. I feel like it's been a long time since I've done like a sit down Q&A with either just myself or me and Kurt. So comment below. Would you want to see that? Do you want a life update Q&A where you can like send in your questions and we update you? Because I feel like you just don't know what's going on. And like, why would you? Because I haven't shared it. I haven't really been vlogging. <laughs> anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. Kurt's fine. Send I'm your fine. well wishes. Look, I can walk. Look. Oh, don't. See, I'm sweet. I had pain for maybe the first week. Now the second week's on, I'm actually doing okay. Everyone's sending such beautiful messages to us, didn't they? Mm, mm. And well wishes and prayers and stuff like that. So thank you so much. What would mean even more though? Is if you subscribe to this channel. Yeah. Only give this video a thumbs up mm. and comment below mm. what you'd like to see in future videos from us. That's really how Mainly her, feel. but That's... I'll join in sometime as a cameo. That's how we'd feel the love. Also, Kurt's trying to be Brad Pitt. You know when Brad Pitt like eats in all his movies? I just need to be like, oh, that hurts. What are you doing? He's always like slouching or something as well. He also has abs. Oh. <laughs> You'll get him back. Oh. <laughs> okay, on that note, oh. going now. I'm going to go be productive. Me too. Can you feel my enthusiasm? Anyway, on that note, I will see you guys in my next video.